I am Yanar Mohammed, the president of the Organization of Women's Freedom in Iraq. Why did I become a human rights defender or rather a woman's rights defender? I did feel very strongly with anybody who suffered or who was treated unjustly. Uh, these were things that I couldn't live with easily. And um, while growing up, I found that those feelings would get stronger and stronger and I would be looking for uh, groups or for literature that explains those feelings to me. Why I cannot live in a world that has no justice in it. When you are a woman's defender, in a context like Iraq, where you are surrounded by wars of all kinds, some of them religious wars, some of them military wars, and some of them are patriarchal wars. And for me, I feel very strongly about this last war, which is the war of patriarchy, not only on women, because when you fight women, you are fighting her children, you are fighting her family, you are putting everybody in agony. But when you are um, a human rights defender in Iraq, if you want equality for women or you dare to say the word of freedom of women, you are public enemy to the government, to the militias that are affiliated with the government and also to the religious institutions who uh, have a very strong hold on the community. So being a feminist woman's defender, I think would be the most dangerous, um, the most dangerous task or undertaking to have in Iraq. And it makes you wonder, why are they so afraid of a bunch of women who are speaking about the freedom of the female human beings around the world? or around Iraq, um, it, it tells me that we have a very strong weapon that they really fear. And that is uh, outspoken women who have a vision for the future, who have a feminist say about what happens in Iraq. So the, the difference between the feminist way and the patriarchal way is that the feminist way can nurture societies, can nurture human beings, can nurture groups into becoming movements. And if these movements reach to power, the feminist way will provide a, a society with rules that nurture all of us, that make us stronger and give us what we deserve and treat us humanely. How is it different from the patriarchal way that is ruling Iraq at this moment? The machine guns are ruling the streets. The heads of the corrupt political blocks have taken all the resources of the society. I believe that the future and success and the well-being of Iraq will lie in a feminist solution, in a feminist alternative where everybody is treated humanely and equally. Feminists have a certain soft spot in their hearts that has become soft and feels a lot of hurt because of all the injustices that she has seen in her own life. Uh, from where we stood as young girls, our brothers were always treated better than us. When we married, the husbands thought of themselves as another level of human beings. We have all that pain and, and that emotional hurt that we want to address and we develop something that we call feminist pride. And I would like to say that until 
full equality for women has been achieved, that feminist pride will never be arrested. I, in my country, I know that in the city that I live in, in Baghdad, uh, the morgue sees 300 bodies of women every year who, whose uh, killers are still free in the streets. And in other cities, the same happens. So, and the law supports it. And the patriarchs are keen to keep the police, the security institutions, and the law to enslave women. In other words, the slavery of women continues and will continue forever if you do not fight it. So as a feminist, proud woman, are you comfortable to live like that and let it happen to your daughters and to your sisters? Or will you struggle to see it change? I feel very emotional about seeing the young women in Iraq suffer the way that they do, uh, lose their opportunities to education, to love, to life, in the way that you, they do. And I will continue to struggle until this changes.